Bishop Barron, Father Gary, Sister John Ellen, Colonel Bazell, Ms. Bray, faculty and staff, family and friends, and fellow cadets. Good morning and welcome. Thank you, each of you, for attending today. Your support is appreciated, whether you're a parent, fellow student, teacher, or faculty member. You've helped the eighth grade class come to the point where we are today, graduating. Jose and I have been a team, CEO and an EXO since last year. Today, we'll be giving our farewell, farewell words to you together. Sister John Ellen, there are no words to describe how incredibly grateful we are for all you have done for us. You have taught us so many morals and how to be grateful for everything God has given us. There is neither the time nor the ability to tell you how thankful and honored we are for your guidance and love throughout these past years. I bet anyone can say you are a second mother. Ms. Bereda, already, already you have become a familiar face that we have grown to recognize. You have helped us with everything, and you always have advice for us if we need it. We hope you stay here at St. Catherine's for a long time, and you help other 8th graders learn and graduate. Sister Joy, thank you for everything. You have taught us so many extra things and have never given up on us. We have mastered calligraphy. You have taught us how to truly make our work beautiful. In algebra, we all remember when you would say, Today we have a fun lesson, and we would all grow. Yet, by the end of every class, we understood the concept and actually found it enjoyable. Art has truly been an inspiring experience for us this year, especially the Christian reggae music that we love and have come to associate with Friday afternoons. Ms. Ronan, thank you. This is your first year here, yet you have already adapted and integrated into St. Catherine. Every day we can watch you and count and smile, whether it's every morning when you walk out for prayer or in class when someone makes a good joke. You have made science a wonderful class that we have been able to relate to the real world and enjoy. Thank you for coming to St. Catherine's and we hope you stay a long time. Mrs. Hopkins, you are always caring for us. Even after some cadets have left, have left you inquire about them and see how they are doing. We are incredibly grateful for all that patience and wonderful charisma you give us every time we cross your classroom's door. We are always amazed by all the time and effort you give to us. You truly are an amazing teacher. Mrs. DeFranco, thank you for all your entertaining classes these past two years. We love watching videos that help us improve our grammar and speech while keeping us entertained. Thank you for always being so friendly and patient. You are like a friend to us. Mrs. Thurya, thank you for being such a great teacher and giving us opportunity to serve the community of St. Boniface. Thank you for also teaching us morals and values through not only your words, but by your also your actions. They are lessons that will stay with us for life. Mrs. Hines, thank you for bringing so much culture into our lives. We love the live concerts you provided for us. Thank you for your great sense of humor and really entertaining classes. Mr. Hines and Mr. Age, we are incredibly grateful for all your patience and dedication you give to this school on a daily basis. Mrs. Caston, thank you for the time you have given to everyone, especially the eighth grade class. You have really put a lot of work into captivating classes. We appreciate your patience in helping us put together our slideshow presentations for our parents. Without you, we would have been lost. Mrs. Reynolds, thank you for your fun classes and for helping us when we need it. Your presence makes our day brighter. Mrs. Byer, thank you for providing us countless hours of fun through reading. You always keep the library so organized and we'll be forever grateful for the opportunity to check out so many different books. To the rest of the teachers, thank you for educating our younger brothers helping them grow and develop outside the classrooms. We know that you have done a wonderful job preparing them to be the future leaders of the school. To the office staff, thank you for helping to keep the school running. 
You help plan trips for us. You work so hard every day. We don't know how you keep track, track of everything. If we were to organize the flights for 50 kids, we do not think all of them would have reached their home safely. To all the coaches, thank you for all of the outings you have gone with us and truly making them special times. Coach Greg, thank you for leading our outstanding varsity teams this year, PAL Championship. You, have to, you took us to every PAL Championship this year. It wouldn't be the same without the shout from the sidelines. You want to see my head come off? <laughs> to the military staff, for all the times we have messed up, you have never given up on us. You will never let us give up on ourselves either. You have truly developed us into men with leadership capabilities. We wouldn't be the same without your dedication. Colonel, you have provided us with some of the most interesting lectures that, that we have listened to, and you have truly brought history alive. We embrace the humor in your teachings, and our data wouldn't be complete without a class with you. Captain, your dedication to the soccer team has truly made it a light in people's day, something to look forward to at the end of every day. All the people who participated in soccer this year can truly say it was fun, whether watching Jerry play defense or someone make their first goal. Sergeant May, what can we say? You're a robot. <laughs> When perfection comes to mind, who do we think of? Sergeant May. He has truly strengthened us through grueling exercise courses that build us up. Thank you, mil thank you, military staff. To the maintenance staff, you have, you have helped keep the school clean. If there is a man, you are the people we can count on. You work incredibly hard every day, and it really amazes us that even though you are working constantly and giving so much of your time for the school, you can still look at us and give us a smile. We consider that something incredible. To the kitchen staff, every day we can count on an excellent, well-balanced meal from you. Every day we say mm chow in earnest. We appreciate your food and the time and effort you give to, to the school and us. We can always count down to the day of ribs, and we are sure some of us will come back and visit just for some more ribs. <laughs> sisters. Each cadet feels the love and care you've given. Sister Melda, thank you for your utmost dedication for this year's piano class. Sister Cheryl, thank you for taking care of us every day, all day. Sister Alvera, thank you for showing us how to live each day with love and cheerfulness. Sister Rosalie, thank you for your 60 years of service as a Minkin sister. You will be greatly missed. To the dorm sisters, you have helped us grow whether in learning how to make beds and fold clothes perfectly or in our stomachs as we eat the wonderful treats you have given us. Sister Mary Diane, thank you for the years of service you have given to us and your faithful dedication to our betterment. Sister Sandra, we all know of your cupcakes and treats, yet only a select few of us have been able to relish in their delicious quality. You are truly a brother to us. Sister Vicky, you have provided us with endless entertainment through the year during every part of the day. We can always count on you that you will get a big laugh out of us. Sister Lawrence Marie, you dedicate your lunches to our little brothers and care for them and keep them safe. In our minds, we would never call you sisters, but mothers. Thank you, sisters. To the cadets. Today may be your last day here, or maybe the end of another year with more to come. Yet we have all learned many things, and we will continue to learn. You have each grown positively and developed in unique ways. Truly, the officers and NCOs have changed because of you, their company, battalion, or regiment. We leave you with two things. First, a prayer. This is the prayer of St. Francis and has always stayed with us. Lord. Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. 
O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in parting that we are parted, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. The second thing is four rules. First, if you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. If you do not step forward, you will always be in the same place. If you do not try harder during the pain, you will never reach new limits. Let us all take with us and live out in the world the four pillars that were so much part of our lives here. Community, ministry, study, and prayer. May we live in peace with those around us. May we always answer the call to serve those in need. May we strengthen our minds with the gifts God has given us. And may we continue to keep God close in our hearts. So to the graduating class, farewell. And I know that we will have a home here, always. To those of you who are returning, take advantage of the many opportunities St. Catharines will provide you. And for those who are not coming back, make wise decisions. We wish you the best of luck as you head on to your separate paths of life. May, may God, God, Creator, bless you. May God, Redeemer, heal you. And may, may God, God, the Holy Spirit, fill you with life. life.